So you can see I've now formatted the crucial SSD and labeled it INT SSD for interior solid state drive. That is formatted just standard Mac format using the disk utility. And the reason I wanted to do that is because uh, having booted from the external drive, which has got the original hard drive that was inside this computer but now is outside the computer, uh, I actually want to install the operating system onto the SSD. Uh, so I've gone through the upgrade, uh, free upgrade thing in the in the store, blah blah blah, there it is. Uh, so you get to this point, that's formatted, uh, that's, sorry, that's got the original OS on, which is running the computer at the moment. Remember option at boot time. The SSD is actually inside the computer, but there's nothing on it. So now we need to put something on it. So continuing to the installation, I agree with all that because we do agree. Um, now you can see it's picked up Macintosh HD, which is that drive. But I don't really want to upgrade that drive. You know, I'll probably use that as something else. Um, so if I do show all disks, hopefully, yeah, there it is the INT SSD. We want to install it on there, and you can see it's got the in in. in, in internal uh, icon so let's install it onto that one and hopefully it won't moan just need to put the password in uh, password is in and I guess hopefully now it's just a case of sitting back and uh, letting it do its thing, but I guess we'll find out in part three if uh, it's worked or not. But so far, so good. About a minute remaining, I don't really believe that. Oh, but it's only repairing. Anyway, see you in part three.